Hi guys! Today, we're going to fulfill our promise and make a liquid notepad. Well, we'll make it if Sam's going to help, of course. I am! I am! You won't do it without me! You probably even forgot the video I showed you! No, I didn't. I found your picture with Ducky. Let's use it! <sighs> this picture is dear to me as a memory! Take something else! <sighs> All right. How could she? This picture! Hit into a liquid notepad! <gasps> It'll get wet and be ruined! <sighs> Stay here for a while. Let's start! Who's the great helper? Sam's the great helper! To start with, I'll take a notepad with a thick cover. A special knife. Two clear films. And some baking paper. Are you gonna bake cookies? Uh, no. Shame. Notepad with cookies would have been so yum! Ugh, all you can think of is food. Ugh, not only food! <laughs> I do serious stuff too, sometimes, when it's important! Right. First, I'll cut a rectangle in the cover. I've already drawn the lines. Now, I need to cut along them. Right. But I must manage somehow. <laughs> oh! <sighs> All done. I'll set it aside. And take the film and the baking paper. I drew a line on the paper to get the edges even. I'll put the film into the baking paper and iron it along all sides, like this. Be really careful with the iron, guys. Ask an adult for help. Now there. So, I need to fill it neatly. <gasps> oh, oh, ah, cold! <laughs> no, no, don't get on Sam. Get into the container. Aha! Enough. How do I get down now? Oh, a small slime has a difficult life. <sighs> and I'll leave a small opening on this side. I'll fill it with water through this opening. I'm coming! Almost there! <sighs> oh, Sam! I, I wanted to help, but I tripped over. Hurt yourself? Just a bit. Here's a band-aid for you to help the pain go away. Are you going to pour the water in? Not just water. I'll take some colored water. And I'll also need some baby oil, twice as much than water. Oh, y'all! Are you going to cook something <laughs> after all? No, Sammy, I'm not. I'll just pour the water and the oil into the cover, through this funnel, like this. And a bit more. And done! Where's the surprise you've promised? Don't look just yet. I'll show you later. Uh, well, all right. I've prepared a surprise for Sam. I want to put this picture into the notepad. I've laminated it and it won't get wet. I'll put it in. And close the opening with the iron. Sammy! No! I'll call you! Oh, well, all right. <sighs> the only thing left is to glue the cover to the notepad. It's done, Sammy! Oh, 
Well done. Ta-da! Oh, that's me! I'm Ducky! Oh, thank you, Susie. You can put any laminated picture inside this notepad, but we'll have Sam and Ducky swimming in there. To brag. I mean, to start writing important ideas in there. <laughs> oh, Sammy. Hi, guys. I bet everyone has a few dozen pieces of old paper at home. But don't rush to throw them away, cuz today we're gonna show you a pretty amazing way of how to give them a second life. That sounds intriguing, Susie. I'm ready to help. What should I do? We'll start with tearing these big sheets of paper into strips about two centimeters wide each. I'm gonna use this metal ruler to do this. Like this. And voila! <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of these. <laughs> oh, that looks fun! And you guys can ask your friends and family to help you at this stage. Crafting together is so awesome! All done, Susie! What's next? Mmm, just another fun cutting part. <laughs> we need to put a few paper strips together like this to be able to cut them into smaller pieces. I know that you already know this, guys, but be very careful with the scissors. And cut your paper straight into the bowl. This way. You better not turn on the fan near that bowl or things might get messy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Sammy. <laughs> you know, I could really use some water right now. Consider you already have it! Uh, here you go, Susie! Are you thirsty? No, not that. But thanks for asking. <laughs> a blender? Ah, you wanna make a smoothie, then? Why don't you stop guessing and let me explain? We're going to blend our paper pieces. With water. This amount will be enough. Great! Now let's make some noise! <laughs> If you are as excited as I am to see what's next, give us a thumbs up! This is what we've got. <laughs> Some kind of paper pulp. Interesting. This consistency reminds me of porridge. Let's brighten that porridge up. But first, we'll put the gloves on. It is extremely important to protect your hands during this process. Come on, come on. Latex gloves will fit perfectly. That's right. The thing is, the gloves... Okay, okay, Professor Samuel. Less talking, more working. We'll take this amount of our paper pulp and add a tiny bit of food coloring to it. Now let's mix it all together well. Wait a second. Why did you choose this color, Susan? Without even asking me! Everybody knows that I have perfect taste in colors! That's a perfect idea, Sammy! We can make paper sheets of different colors and then put them together in a notebook. And you! Watch closely! Sue is doing something interesting there! Guys, we need to strain our paper pulp right now really well. This way. A couple more gentle moves. And that's it. Now we're gonna need a silicone mold like this one. You can ask your parents to get you one at a craft store. We'll put this thing into the mold. Here we go. And start spreading it evenly like this. Susie, I was looking for the food coloring and found these amazing towels. Can I have one? Oh, right about time, Sammy. Thanks. Whoa, uh, greedy. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, but we need these for our craft. Let's put on the gloves again. And move on. One towel will help us to get rid of the extra moisture. This way. Guys, you might need to repeat this step several times. Just remember, only gentle touches. Like this. And then we're gonna take another towel and a rolling pin to make sure that all the extra water came off. Shiver me cheddars! Why do I keep getting the feeling that we're cooking today? Okay, that will do. Now we'll carefully take the towel off our mold. This way. All of the paper should stay inside the mold, guys. 
And we're done with the first paper sheet. We should leave it to dry properly. This will take several hours. We have the magic of video editing, right? That's why we'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, here's our very first brand new paper sheet. It looks awesome, right? Hmm, what are these holes, Susan? Are you sure that we did everything right? I am, Sammy. We need those openings to be able to keep all paper sheets together. You'll see for yourself later. Now, Sammy, are you ready to proceed? What colors did you pick? That's a tough choice, Sue. Maybe we can make this one first and then the other one? Huh, I have a better idea. Let's use both colors simultaneously. Whoosh, there we go. We could do that? Guys, quick, give Sue a thumbs up for her brilliant creativity. Here we have green and here is blue. Let's get started. Great! Now we're gonna put the paper pulp into our mold in a random order so that in the end we get a wonderful multicolored pattern! This is gonna look really beautiful, guys! This way! The next step is the towels, right? Yep! Wanna try to do it, Sammy? Let's see. Your magic worked like a charm. You even managed to dry out the paper. Great. Now we can remove it from the mold. Very careful here, guys. This way. Amazing! I just love how it turned out. Now it's obvious who's the real pro in decorating. One, two, zero, Sam's the hero! Now you're chanting? All right, I'm gonna show you something amazing. Will you help me, guys? Here, take this. Who doesn't love glitter, right? And how about sparkly paper? Wait, what? Sue, what are you doing? I demand an explanation! Wait for a couple of seconds, Sammy, and you'll see me beat you in a creativity contest! Ha <laughs> ha! Are you done, guys? Wow! You even strained it for me? Thank you so much! Oh, I really like this color, guys! Perfect choice! Here we go! We'll spread it well throughout our mold like this. That's really important, remember? Then comes the water soaking process. And here's our beautiful, already dried out sparkly paper. What do you say now, Sammy? Holy cannoli! Both of us are the world's most creative crafters! Hey guys, do you want to know what's next? Then subscribe and stay tuned! Did you see how many cool paper sheets Sue and I made? We're gonna have an amazing notebook! Yay! <laughs> but before that, we need to make a cover. I'm gonna choose this one and… This one, Sue! Let's use this one also! Why don't you deal with it, Sammy? Following my steps, of course. Raptor Sam is at your service! <laughs> Great! Up first, we'll make a pattern using the Dutch foil. We'll use a wooden stick to draw some curly lines with glue this way. And then we'll put the pieces of the Dutch foil on them and press a little. Great! The glue dries out pretty fast, guys, so you should better work in small patches. Phew! This part is done. Now let's take a brush and carefully get rid of the extra foil. And here's what we've got. Pretty cool, huh? We need to put this under a press. A glass and a bunch of books will do. I can take care of this! In the meantime, let's deal with epoxy resin. Don't forget to put on a mask and protective glasses, guys! Safety comes first! We're gonna need to do all the measurements properly to get a perfect result. Great! Thank you, Sammy! Let's carefully pour the epoxy resin into it. This way. 
and spread it evenly like this. This is very important, guys. I mean, if you want your cover to come out perfectly, of course. <laughs> now we need to get rid of all of these bubbles. Let's use a blow dryer to do this. There you go, ma'am. Sammy, is that a Downton Abbey thing or something? Let's get started. Very hot air comes out of the blow dryer, so be careful, young ladies and gentlemen. Sammy, you'll miss everything. Okay. Now watch closely. We'll carefully put our decorated piece of paper back into the mold. Like this. And sink it in properly. You may use a wooden stick to do this. Then we'll pour epoxy resin on top, get rid of the bubbles again, and let the whole thing harden. Psst! Who wants to see the final result? Follow me! Okay, people, this is the paper, and these are the covers! Yay! Guys, just check out this beauty that we've got! And I really like what you did with your part, Sammy! Wow! Susie, I can't believe that something this beautiful used to be that! <laughs> yeah, me too. But we have one final step left. Metal rings like this one will keep the covers and paper all together. We'll start with your cover, Sammy, and pull all the rings through the openings like this. All in all, we need six rings. Huh? Then come the paper sheets and the other cover. And an amazing notebook made from handmade paper is done! Get new craft ideas and don't forget to hit the bell button!